Hey, this is Tyler with T-Jack Survival. I am down in the jungles of Columbia with uh, Bushcraft Global and Topps Knives. Got some real cool stuff coming your way, so stay tuned. Tyler with TJX Survival. I'm down here with Bushcraft Global and Top Snives, and I'm going to show you a very quick video on how to deal with rust and patina in the jungle. So I got a Baraki mower that I've actually been using for quite a while. Um, I put a patina on it from cutting a bunch of fruit and doing a bunch of stuff up in Utah, and then brought it down to the jungle. And I've been using it, and it's got just a little dusting of rust, which is to be expected. But there's two things you need to know: add oil to prevent the rust, and once you've got it, this is the way that you that you remove it. So, you can grab some of this black ash, a little bit of spit, and a little bit of water. What's happening is you're making lye, which is kind of like a soap type substance. And you can also add a little bit of uh, sand if you have it. And what will happen is this will be abrasive and it will remove that rust. So, let me show you a little before and after. That's right there in the beginning. And when a plant burns, the leftover is basically lye and char or carbon. Okay, char is what I was trying to say, but carbon. So if you're scratching this with your finger, you're basically doing a micro polish, which cleans up. But be very careful not to cut your finger because these are very incredibly sharp knives. Look at that. Polishes it right up, makes it nice and shiny. I got a little bit of patina in there, and this is where I sharpen it. You know, that's kind of permanent, but uh, as you can see, it cleans that blade right up. So that's a little field tip using the Topps Brachimo down here in Columbia with Bushcraft Global. Hopefully that's valuable to you. If it is, hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching T-Jack Survival.